The following is a fan-based parody. Ruby is owned and produced by Rooster Tooth Productions. Please support the official release. Wife! Are you okay? I'd be a lot better if I was on the ground. It's your fault we're up here. What could I have done to get us into this? You crushed one of its eggs! And you stole one of its tail feathers! My grade needed a bump! What are you talking about? It's only the second day, Ruby! Okay, it's for Yang's grade! Do you at least have a way out of this? On second thought, I think I'll just enjoy the view! What are you Yang looking at? Ah! Shit! Someone owes the swear jar. <sighs> Sorry. I think my wallet's in my spleen. They're gonna feel that in the morning. Uh... For the Hundred Acre Wood! Oh, I think it's stuffing came out. Oh, uh, bother. Nora, seriously. Only decaf from now on. Alive. Help! Coming, Ren! Oh look, a resident schizo. Could use some help here! On it! Hey, wait! Any day now would be great! Did she forget she's supposed to be a world-class fighter or something? <clears throat> I'm so done with this bullshit! We didn't sign up to risk our lives trying to find a bunch of stupid chess pieces! Can you guys talk about this when I don't have a giant scorpion trying to rip my face off? Uh, guys? I swear I'm never flying again! Fly United next time! I wouldn't. Wait, why not? They suck. Huh. Like a good huntsman, Sean Ark is there. Does this mean I get the job? Oh, hell no! Damn it! Oh, right! The scorpion. Cowabunga, dudettes! Ruby, wait! <gasps> Why does it have to be a freaking scorpion? I'm gonna end up with a stinger in my gut at this rate. Uh, got a blast! They can get you sucked into a jet engine. What? The smallest error in judgment can get you killed. Take it from someone whose activities require the greatest attention to detail. One little slip up and everything goes up in flames faster than a beamer at a gas station. So be more careful. For your sake. And mine. Wow. Does anyone have a tranquilizer? A powerful one? Well, I have several different kinds. They're probably outside of your price range, though. I think he wanted to use one on the Nevermore, Weiss. We need a way to beat this thing. Exactly. Totally what I meant by that. Sure.
Get out there! Thora, use charm! It's super effective! Talking about time to put some fuzz on those peaches, buddy boy. I liked this thing better in the Raven. Don't bring that good for nothing bitch up now! Sweet Jack! Shut up, Ruby! Take note, Zetsio. Where? This bird is trying to ruin my outfit. Just follow my lead. <laughs> Hit it till it dies. <laughs> Nora, get him. Time with pleasure. We could own the street. The script says you're gonna fall, Ren. Whatever you say, Nora. <sighs> If you want some... Come get some! Dang! Slingshot! You think you'll make it through this in one piece? I think that's up to you. Hmm, you're right. Right? Oh, relax, you don't. Did you just that was a one-time thing, Yang. Okay, but die hard, really? Everyone's a critic. Russell Thrush, Sam Winchester, Carden, Carden Winchester, Dove Bronzewing, Skylark. Starting today, you will be recognized as Team Cradle. Cardinal. Cardinal. Led by Dean Carden. Carden Winchester, Jean Arc. Lai Ren, Piranikos, Nora Valkyrie. Starting today, you will be recognized as Team Orange, led by Lai Ren. Really, Ozpin? Sorry, son, I'm just doing this to piss her off. 
The four of you will actually be recognized as Team Juniper, led by Sean Ark. What? I... I I'm... What? No hard feelings, I hope. Go fuck yourself. Excellent. Now, Blake Belladonna, Ruby Rose, Weishnee, and Yang Xiaolong. Starting today, you will be recognized as Team Ruby, led by Ruby Rose. Oh, you're going to be such a good leader. About time you got one right. Wait, shouldn't it be pronounced Ro-Wobby? Ozpin! <laughs> well, why couldn't you talk him out of it? Oh, whatever. Look, you either find a way to fix this, or I'll find an attorney who can. Simple as that. All right, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good night, Mom. That son of a bitch! Sir? You're late. Better late than ever. Yeah, try telling that to a judge. Time to kick things up a notch. This will never work. Ben's plan to appeal to the king's sense of human decency is a complete farce. The British don't care about us. They never have! I cannot conclude without mentioning how sensibly I feel the dismemberment of America from this empire, and that I should be miserable indeed if I did not feel that no blame on that account can be laid at my door. I? will decide what is necessary. And did I not also know that connivory seems to be so much the striking feature of its inhabitants that it may not in the end be an evil that they will become aliens to this kingdom. Gentlemen, today marks the dawn of our revolution. For too long, his grace has sat on the throne, barking orders at us expecting us to fight his wars. But no more! It is time for us to rise! All who have opposed us will suffer and die. Now is the time to decide. Will you live as heroes, or will you die as traitors? My first wish is to see this plague of mankind, war, banished from the earth. And that is exactly what you will do, no matter the cost! You will kill anyone who stands in your way. I do not care if they are men, women, or even children. If they are not with us, they will die fighting us. Burn down their homes if you have to. We can and will rebuild as many times as necessary. God save the king.
I will find you. And I will kill you.